Welcome back, everyone. Starting on Wednesday, some Shakespearean classics will be center stage at the University of St. Joseph right in West Hartford. This all thanks to Capital Classics Theatre Company. And joining us to talk about it, I am in awe of these young actors and actresses, Eddie Cruz Jr. and Kira Sheehan. Folks, thank you so much for being here. Of course. Thanks thank for you having for us. having us. We are already having a great time on this couch. I am in awe of your talents here. <laughs> Kira, you folks are tackling, explain this to me, two plays yeah. at once? What's yeah, going on? Two full Shakespeare productions of Hamlet and Taming of the Shrew. So we've been rehearsing all day, every day for the last few weeks, alternating shows per day. And then once performances start on Wednesday, we do Taming of the Shrew one night, Hamlet the next night, Taming of the Shrew the next night, and back and forth. I, I have trouble remember, remembering a line or two in any play. <laughs> what has that dynamic been like to kind of juggle two shows at once? I'm lucky that I've been able to do uh, Shakespeare's and Rep before, so I have a little bit of practice. This is the first time that we've gotten to do like f a full rehearsal process for both at the same time. So uh, I, I guess finding that switch, you know, coming in and being like, oh, what are we doing today? Am I supposed to be funny or weeping today? Yeah. <laughs> um, so that's kind of been the fun thing is like uh, coming in, knowing what I'm doing for the day and then kind of getting myself into it. And Kira Capital Classics, you guys perform outside. This is yes. so cool. Talk about that dynamic, especially during the summer. Yeah, sure. So it's, you know, summer weather is all over the place, but we have a really secure weather plan in place. And we're really lucky because the University of St. Joseph is first of all a beautiful campus yes. so the outdoor space is absolutely gorgeous there's so much beautiful nature surrounding us which is so fun to do outdoor Shakespeare in and then right next to our outdoor space is a beautiful indoor theater the Bruyette Athenaeum so it's a fully uh, functional theater with a concession stand and air conditioning so if it rains or if it is over 95 degrees or if the air quality isn't great uh, we move right inside and we frequently stop mid line if it starts to rain and we move everybody inside and pick it right back up. You folks have this well figured out area. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes I think when people hear Shakespeare it can be intimidating not only to a performer but maybe to an audience member as well. Speak to somebody at home who might want to come check out the show. They have kids. Mm -hmm. What would you say to them? Oh, uh, we've done a very good job I think of uh, making this like readable and mm -hmm. understandable uh, for people at, the, at this point in time. No one wants to come and you know struggle to understand what's going on. So we have a incredible ensemble of actors who are very committed to making the story easy to understand mm -hmm. and you know suit the action to the word as they say yeah. <laughs> love this I know capital classics is, is kind of in your DNA yeah. really speak <laughs> yeah. to that and what it's meant for you sure sure so my parents Jeffrey and Laura Sheehan founded capital classics back in 1991 the summer my oldest brother was born so uh, literally the whole time I have been growing up in Connecticut we've been doing Shakespeare every summer um, so I was in my first show. I was in Macbeth when I was seven years old um, because my older brother was in the show and I got jealous and asked if I could be involved. A smart move there. Listen, I'm wishing the two of you the best of luck this season. We'll get all the information on where folks can find you, tickets, all that stuff for a perfect summer activity right on our website, fox61.com. My hat is off to you. Thank you for Thank being you. here. Good luck, my friends. Thank you. Ryan, Brett, and I told them the last time I was in a play it was because I was forced to. I got into a fight in the sixth grade with my twin brother at school. They said, you're in the play or you're staying after school every day to the end of the year. I was Clara's father in the Nutcracker that <laughs> December. <laughs> That's a pretty good one. I'm not sure I've ever been in a play, but I've always received